With increased capacity and product diversification, local garment makers have become a key source for military, fire and police uniforms for nations throughout the globe. For decades years, the nation has been a good supplier of clothing for the North American Treaty Organization NATO, an intergovernmental military organization. Indirectly, multinational stores and brands make orders with Bangladeshi firms, who then supply the military. For example, a customer provides uniforms to the Belgian Army and the Kosovo Police. I now make uniforms for the Belgian Army and the Kosovo Police. The amount is tiny, but I can make a lot managing director Abdullah Hill Rokib. Team Group shipped $36 million worth of garments last year. Uniforms make up about 2% of shipments to nations, mostly in Europe. Rakib said there is a significant demand for military uniforms, PPE, technical clothing, medical bed linens and clothing. Bangladesh must strengthen its ability to capture global high-end clothing markets. Technical apparel has a worldwide market value of almost $370 billion. Defense dresses are worth between $400 million and $500 million yearly, according to industry sources. Bangladesh is increasing uniform manufacturing to gain market share in the high-end value-added clothing industry. Like Rakib, several clothing manufacturers worldwide provide uniforms for the armed services. Snotex, an outerwear exporter, creates and sends identical garments for consumers. It also makes workwear for farmers, engineers, firemen, and others. Demand is driving the market for outerwear, according to Snotex's SM Carlid. In 2022, the business expects to export $300 million in garments, including $50 million in outerwear. A few years ago, Urmi Group, another clothing supplier, made some uniforms for the Belgian army. We can capture the market because we are broadening our goods, said Asif Ashraf, managing director of the firm. According to BMI President Farooq Hassan, Bangladesh's next development potential is in high-end value-added clothing goods. As a result, the industry is moving towards technological and high-end garments. Many clothing firms currently offer uniforms to fire departments worldwide. The BMI is working with an Indian business to research uniform markets so that local manufacturers may increase their market share. The study's results may be available in two to three months. Local clothing makers are targeting professional and school uniforms. Many firms now sell school uniforms to Europe. Making professional uniforms is difficult and costly due to the demand for coarse yarn. Since Bangladesh does not produce cotton, Pakistan is a significant producer of the essential textile raw material, according to Hassan. According to Bangladesh Textile Mills Association President Mohammad Ali Kokhon, certain mills are now creating military and tent materials for export.